Welcome to 3D Printing News. I'm your host, Mike, and every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time, I host the 3D Printing News, where I try to keep everybody up to date with the latest happenings in 3D printing, or pretty much anything I find interesting. So if that's something you would enjoy, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the news. So my first story is a little bit older. An employee by the name of Owen actually posted a little teaser for the Centauri Carbon Multicolor System. This was about two weeks ago. Nothing has really happened since then. So will we get the Elugu multicolor system soon? Will it be a little Christmas teaser package for you guys? Will it come out in January? Will it never come out at all? I guess this would be a story for the ages if this actually didn't come out from adding the multicolor port, from initially advertising multicolor, from issuing coupons to still doubling down that it's still coming out, it would be pretty insane. So at this point, I think it's going to come out, but when will we see it? I guess we don't know until it comes out. On top of this, if you chose that $50 off $100 spent coupon, it should be in your inbox. I've been seeing a lot of people actually receive that already when they initially said those were actually gonna be issued in February, now they're issuing them. But people are finding out that they don't stack with current offers, so you're really not getting $50 off. And Elugu likes to do the thing that every other company likes to do in the 3D printing space, is mark something off, but it's never been that price. So for example, if it's $140 for a 10 back, it says $99 but it was never $140 to begin with, and it's listed for $99 on Amazon. So like, I don't know, see what you're actually gonna get off. Is your coupon giving you a full $50 off? Again, it doesn't stack with any current offers. So some people are saying, hey, look, I spent $100, $110, but I'm only getting $9 off. Things like that, that's just something to be aware of, but go ahead and check your inbox. You may have that coupon in your inbox. I actually did not select an option as of now. I. I don't know, maybe I'll select one for sure, but I have a first batch Centauri Carbon that came out in February. What do you guys think? Have you chose a coupon option? Did you choose the $50 coupon and now you're disappointed or are you happy with it? Let me know in the comments down below. The Anycubic Photon P1 has officially released on Kickstarter starting at $499. There's a few other add-on options. I actually have a review coming soon, just working out a few things when it comes to that review, finishing up the final touches on that video, but hopefully that is out soon when it comes to resin printing, right? It's my first resin printer back into resin printing for a while. Overall, so far, I've enjoyed the printer. That's all I'll really say on that. You'll have to wait until my video comes out. Anycubic also showed off the Cobra X. We have confirmed that it is 260 cubed build plate. There's a few other things listed on their website as far as teasers. I believe it's been said that towards the end of the month, I think it was like December 20th or maybe further on, we're gonna get a price. There's actually a countdown on their website. Today is the 11th. I think the countdown said like, 10 days and so many hours. So you guys can go ahead and check that out and then we'll get an official price on that. I have no idea. I've heard some rumors of some prices. I haven't gotten anything confirmed from any cubic. I'm still hoping I can get my hands on one. I believe I be, will be able to. So I guess maybe be on the lookout for my review of that as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna go ahead and check out the Cobra X, there has been a few listings or a few pictures and promo images posted on Anycube's website for that. Additionally, in other news, Galactic Armory, right? They're mostly known for pushing out Star Wars cosplay, things like that. We did have a story about Trench Crusade not too long ago. It's actually like this mini company. They were posting STLs, right, for their game and you could 3D print them, but they actually went purely to plastic. Well, speaking of Trench Crusade, Galactic Armory has officially partnered with Trench Crusade. So if you are a player of that game, you can actually sign up to their Patreon right now and get some Trench Crusade cosplay items to go ahead and 3D print and build yourself. With this, they did say that maybe there might be some changes to their Patreon because it is officially licensed stuff. So they're trying to figure out how do we do like a royalty for some of the stuff that's actually contributing to that. I totally understand that when you're actually getting into officially licensed stuff, having a subscription, it's probably pretty hard. And that's why you see like Netflix, Disney, they always increase their prices because they're getting all these other IPs that people want to sign up for. And how do we correctly allocate money to that kind of stuff? Business decisions, right? But if he's going to create a business that he can stand by officially licensed products, he did tease also he's working with other companies to try to get stuff officially licensed. So 
big things seem to be coming for Galactic Armory. I'm pretty excited to see what he does. In other news, Prusa is actually currently offering $100 off the index system if you purchase the fully assembled Core 1. Now, the thing I wanted to talk about this, I didn't really find the coupon that interesting. It's what it says in parentheses at the bottom is that they're expecting the index to come out in Q2. So we're looking at least until April until we actually like have these readily available to order to the public. So everyone's all hyped up about the index right now. You'll probably see a ton of influencers have it in early next year, but you can't actually order one because it's sold out currently until at least Q2. So does this get delayed again? Cause it was already delayed from November to January or Q1. They said, I don't think they actually confirmed January. I think that's what they're pushing for. But will we see this get delayed again? Time will tell they are implementing it into the core one and you'll probably be able to buy like fully assembled and then also the kits. But right now you can buy a core one that then right you have to get a hundred then you get a hundred dollars off the index which will be a kit. So I guess there's a lot to think about here if that's something you're interested in. But I I don't know. We'll see if they actually come out with Q2 and it actually ships in Q2. It's looking like maybe it'll get delayed again. I don't know. That's just my opinion. We'll see what happens They're Again, they're shooting for Q2 and they're hopeful that it comes out in Q2. So at least now we have a specific time frame. Maybe this was already out there. I'm not really sure when it comes to the index. There's so many things that I try to, you know, it, it's all jumbled in my mind all the time, but I thought this was interesting. I wanted to give you guys an update on the index. Additionally, we have so much news here today, guys, like even new, new products being teased, all that. The Panda Breath actually came out. I've mentioned to this, or I've mentioned this a few times in some of my videos. Hey, if you wanted a heater, check this out for the P1S. Now it is $109, so it's kind of pricey, I would say, but it seems to be worth it if you want a long standing like active chamber heater. You can always take it out and put it in another printer, but it's specifically made for the P series of Bamboo Lab and the X series. Keep in mind though, you don't want to get your internal systems too hot where they're not made to run that hot. That's the only warning I would say to that. So go ahead and check that out. I just want to make you guys aware that it is now available for order at just under $109. So it is pricey, but if you need it, it may be well worth it. In addition to this, UV printers. So we've had UV make in longer on the channel, at least as far as like I've talked about them in the 3D printer news, which technically it's not 3D printing, right? It's like 2D printing, whatever it is. But with that being said, Xtool has actually teased that they may be coming with one early next year at CES. I'm not really sure on the specific dates, but they are hosting at CES a black room event where it appears they will be showing this off. Now, is this gonna push a lot of people to cancel their UV make if they haven't received the printer yet? Because the last I saw, they were only shipping like 100 at a time. I think the latest update they shipped like less than 150, maybe it was like 160 units. It's been just plagued with delays. And now you have longer, which is supposed to be shipping like next year in, what was it, like July? Is that one gonna be delayed? X tool has been widely regarded as one of the best lasers on the market. So are you going to have them come in and just sweep the competition where everyone cancels their longer in UV make orders? Quite possibly. It's probably just going to depend on how expensive it is compared to, you know, longer and UV make. So you had UV make come out, which was kind of pricey. And then you had longer come out with, it was the cheaper option in open sourced ink. What will X tool do? I guess, We'll see in January if they actually release that information to the public, which you'll be able to catch it here on 3D Printing News. And lastly, guys, we normally do an FAQ, but I didn't actually have any questions for me left in the latest 3D Printing News video. I had a comedy one, which you can go back and check it out. I'm not going to repeat it here on the channel. It was a little out there. I did see it, dude. But with that being said, guys, if you have any questions for me, I always do an FAQ at the end of the video. Go ahead and leave your questions down below. And that's all the news I have for you guys today. A special thanks to my members, Crunkle, Kevin King, Artie, and Flycut. I truly appreciate you guys. If you guys are interested in signing up for memberships, you guys can go ahead and find it on the channel. Nothing extra, just a way to support me in doing this and hopefully eventually retiring my wife. I appreciate you guys. As always, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you would like to see on the 3D printing news in next week's episode. And guys, truly enjoy the rest of your day.